The game is supposed to start now, we're waiting just for the signal to switch screens so we can talk about the Sentinel lineups and we can see actually which map will be played because the information is not yet out. The game is starting and it will be the old standard map, absolutely fantastic. Team Steamroll is playing with Rhino Warhead Blitz, Flatline Cobra, double assassin combo again. They so want to apply very heavy early uh, aggression and damage, taking uh, key, uh, uh, key sentinels out. Then again, Blitz, Warhead, Rhino, Flatline and Cobra is played as well. Bow down 5. This is a complete mirror match only with different skins. This is going to be very interesting as definitely Sentinel uh, has uh, Sentinel choices will have no impact on winning or unlocked. losing this game and it's all up to the skill of the individual skill and the skill as a team. Both teams have full players. Everyone joins the game. Everyone is in the game. Both players are rushing to bot lane and let's see uh, if the first team fight will be held and who will win it. Night Blue is taking some damage by Regal. It's amazing to see actually that Regal is playing Warhead instead of Cobra. Now completely out of position Mr. Tamian is a bit out of position. He's getting being taken down I believe by Cobra. is managing to take him down to give him the final death step. Team Steamroller on the right side of the map took uh, a beating in the first encounter but of course this means nothing we have a mirror match on bot lane and i believe we will have a mirror match on top lane as well and, and, and actually in mid lane too uh this is the same strategy uh steamroller is playing is being played by down five or the same and i think it's actually this way around not the other way around as steamroller invented this strategy in this lineup earlier than down five did Little, little bit clash, top watchtower is trying to be taken down by both teams. Both teams don't lose any XP currently in mid lane, so they are going An for another objective. Now bot lane is getting flanked by Ube. Crew Regal is a little bit out of position, but very good juke there. Regal, uh, the Cobra is going deep. Regal is still taking damage. Managed to get behind. Very good snipe, but it's, this is enough. The drones are actually finishing Warhead. Absolutely fantastic play there by Regal. He is apparently a beast on Warhead as well. Maybe he's just a really good player. Who, who, who could have known? And uh, now they actually revenged for the early aggression why didn't ah because the uh, druids are actually took down warhead so it's not counted for team steamroller regal is pushing out on bot and he took his med kip top artillery drone was taken down by steamroller but artillery drone was was not touched yet by regal but artillery drone however four town team down five is being taken down no skill is protecting the tower against this push uh, the, the Cobra is going in against Riga, but Riga is the main Cobra player, so he knows exactly how to engage against the Cobra mid lane. Now Blitz is the only person defending against the push by Steamroller. Bottom Watchtower is taken down for Steamroller. Careful there, B3. A little bit out of position, but he jumps out in time before he is getting nailed into the ground. Can't escape. Uh, Blitz is pushing Flatline very severely, but Flatline doesn't really need to push out against this. He just needs to utilize his AoE. Now Botlane in a heavy push now, but actually Warhead was dropping really low. Rigal Riga has to go back. Atil Drone is open. It will be taken down very fast. B3 just using his slice and dice. Ubi can't uh, secure. Atil Drone low skill very low. He needs to be careful not getting flanked by Cobra and take, be taken down top. Nokita is pushing hard, AOE can't really defend, but the artillery drone is already taken down, not sure what Mikhail did there, why it was taken down against the flatline, he should have been able to keep it alive and to uh, push pressure the top tower more than he did. Most teams you can feel that they're searching for the opening, tank drone, 14 down, 5 is being taken down to push maybe mid lane into the enemy tower. Blitz is engaging, or oh, he is directly engaging. However, Flatline chooses a very good uh, escape uh, pass, so he's escaping without any problem. Artillery drone on bot lane, we got his pressure, no skills trying to take it down. The, the drone is actually uh, saved, locked in on the Sentinel, so it's not doing any damage against the tower. Good play there by no skill. And then now with a gank attempt on Warhead, but Warhead saw it coming, he pulled out in time. Tanked on in mid lane, being abandoned and now being taken down. I think it was actually an overcommitment with two 
Sentinels from mid lane to move in. Cyber is going in. He's still searching the, to do the damage, as much damage as possible. Tankton is going down now, so the dive is very dangerous and very deep. Ubik took a lot of damage, uses his dash to get out. Blitz is joining his team. No, he's just taking Watchtower, protecting Watchtower, doing some damage, bringing Your his uh, flatlines cooldown, heal on cooldown, but retreats before anything getting more dangerous. Regal is still pushing into no skill. Very aggressive play there. I like it very much. Watchtower, however, is in the hand of down five, so he needs to be careful not to get flanked. And let's see how... There is now one versus one. Regal versus no skill. No skill manages to actually get ahead on this. Uh, a little, little fight there. We have now Silent Burp is <laughs> without any protection of his team. And I know that I'm saying out of position a lot, but it's usually the case. No heal and Cobra are taking down Clerorus. I believe he will take, be taken down. Yes, there's nothing you can do. Uh, team Zero moves in, uh, pins him down. He gets a lot of damage. A heal from Flatline can't utilize him anymore. Regal now in a bad spot. He's getting taken down by No Kill and by Ubik. He can't do anything anymore. He's dropped down and uh, immediately the uh, uh, response of Team Steamroller is to send Rhino on Botlin with Flatline to protect the tower against the push, against the potential pop. But again, no artillery drawn on Botlin. So not so much pushing power currently being uh, able to utilize by No Skill. <clears throat> Team Steamroller is maybe going now. Yes, they're going for the tank drone. They would want maybe to utilize some push currently. Both teams very equally strong with the same lineup, of course. Now we have uh, the guy coming back to the lane, immediately pushing out. The artillery drone is being capable of being taken down. One minute still to the right. There is a team fight. No, no team fight. They actually lurked around the artillery drone, tried to make a play there. Team Steamroller saw it immediately. They Pulled back, Cobra saw them coming in. Blitz checked in case he didn't face him as a 10 minute out of position. Cyborg is going with absolutely fantastic stun. He gets four people into his stun. Silent uh, flatline is going down while they are switching. Sentinels confuses me just. Uh, Ubik is in deep trouble now. He has a silence. His uh, uh, dash is up in time. Night Blue is being chased down as well. Still getting a lot of damage. He is. B3 forces actually his ultimate to be triggered. Very good play there. And mid tower is getting pushed severely. Top artillery drone is being taken down from uh, Team Steamroller. They responded very good there. Flatline still down. So we have a 5 versus 4. Sent in a situation. No skills getting heavy damage, but he will survive. Regal is trying to still get him down, but no skill just dances around, baits him. Cobra comes in. Ubi comes in from behind. Uh, pushes him down. Now we have uh, the opposite situation. Five Sentinels up, four down, five only four for Steam Steamroller. Let's see how they utilize this advantage and let's see what will be happening as a next. Will they try to make a push? Will they try to go for Drake? I don't think that Drake is actually an option, but who is a nevertheless try or will they just take objectives, gather and try to find another opening to kill someone? B3 uh, Regal is actually heading back to bot lane. It really confuses me if they're suddenly switches, <laughs> switching around the sentinels. This is so unusual <laughs> to see Regal on uh, Warhead. Bot lane took uh, down 5, took artillery join. We have currently Night Blue uh, on Rhino, Warhead and Cobra moving in Ubik a little bit too far uh, in the front taking a huge load. Dramatic damage by Warhead. Immediately Cobra is coming in. B3 is coming in as well. Warhead could be technically engaged. Now they saw that two Sentinels pulled back to take the Watchtower so they can technically could have engaged him. However, they're focused on the drone and let's see what will happen as a next respawn. Drone still up for Team Steamroller. No team currently in an advantage. Both teams very careful not to overextend, not to do a critical mistake. We both know that both teams are capable to utilize any mistakes done, any advantage gained in an instant and maybe even uh, play a bigger advantage. Ubik now, although he needs to board back or heal by flatline, saves him, although I think the dash was technically enough. Silent Burp, however, could have gone in a warhead, no skill, bad positioning there. He will go down. Oh, Brigal, however, completely wastes his ultimate. He was already dead. Silent Burp is trying. 
to secure anybody. He needs to use his ultimate, Flatline ultimate. It's coming down as well. We have a full uh, engage now. Night Blue ultimate is coming up. Uh, everyone is pushing, trying to do as much damage. Though he, however, is without any energy, so he can't do as much damage as he would like to in this very situation. We still have an advantage now for for uh, Steamroller. What will they do? Already Warhead is already go down to push the lane. I believe he will take the artillery drone maybe now as well as he has the opening. Or are they going directly for the to damage the tower? Yes, they're going directly to damage the tower. Maybe Blitz, but now Flatline and Cobra are moving bots too, so they need to retreat. However, apparently they didn't see them coming in. No, here. Good snipe, good stun there, good lockdown by Regal. They need to get Flatline down if they want to have an advantage. Blitz finishes him off. Ubik a little bit out of position there. Oh, he was so lucky that actually this rocket misses there. And we have a 5 with this 4 situation as well. Blitz is trying to engage Silent Web a little bit. Was a little bit, uh, got, got a lot of damage out without being harmed. So they, apparently they didn't see him coming in. Very good engage by base 3. Double slice and dice did a lot of damage. Nightbro has to trigger his ultimate again. But Silent Web is low too. Still down 5 is on the track with uh, moving backwards instead of forwards. Now the artillery drone is being taken down and I think Steamroller wants to utilize their little advantage which again they are maybe on bot lane with a five man push. Let's see. Or will they split up again? Blitz and Cobra moving back towards tank drone, followed by Rhino and Flatline uh, meeting at bottom. Watchtower the Cobra Ubik is just hitting and running. I believe good choice. Now Blitz, Flatline, Warhead on bot. Only no skill is defending at the same time. Cobra and Rhino are applying pressure in mid, so they can't immediately switch down. And they are actually on the other side of the map, so this is not a good timing. Technically, Team Roller could push bottom more strong uh, than they're actually doing. And I think they wasted their an opportunity. Mid lane now, Silent Burp and P3 versus <laughs> Night Blue and Ubik. Cobra Reno versus Cobra Reno. Now, Steam Roller joins. <laughs> it's team, it's, it's completely confusing because we're playing on both teams exactly the same Sentinels and the Placers are very similar to each other. I don't see anybody being really ahead of anybody else. Of course, Steam Roller secured a few. Which is actually, yeah, I think one more kill, but this is nothing currently. Bot lane, no skill, is getting catched. He can't escape anymore, but then again, no he now is getting catched as well. And we have a one versus one sentinel for both teams are currently down. Very good play here. Wow. So bot lane currently being in a little bit of a pain. Uh, Rhino and Blitz are trying to push into the tower. I don't think they can make too much damage. Ubik is just lurking around. Now three sentinels hitting the tower. So they start doing now a lot of damage. Apparently Regal can't handle, can't protect this. They did some damage, but eventually they were pushed back. So the tower is still standing. Good plays by Regal that he didn't choose the bottom uh, position to stand. So Ubik would have most likely got him. But at the same time, top tower is going down for Steve. Roller, so they traded and they won the trade. The top tower definitely will go down. They don't need to follow up on this. Warhead is careful, he knows that Ubik is still lurking around. He wants to have his now again evading his um, dagger, porting out before any resistance comes. Now the game spikes a little bit. Not sure what's going on. The silent burp out of position, trying to maybe, maybe get some read on the. Watchtower on bot lane. Top artillery drone is still pushing. She took the tower down mid lane. Uh, Blitz and Rhino are trying to pressure and Silent Burp, but he's attack. doing good. Oh, oh, flatline will go down. Double stun. He's trying to actually, but he threw his stun actually against the laser barrier, so he didn't hit damage wise. It was still enough damage. Interesting. Mr. Temet is porting back. No, he is porting back immediately. Stopped in the moment. Clerus arrives. They saw the timing was out. They won't be able to retreat to another lane. Will they port back or will they push the lane? They are of course need to be careful not to get into a disadvantage situation where they get engaged. The Arno Heal is actually going in, applying some damage. Ubik is coming in now too. But this is a very strong little squad which they have. The Rhino is pushing mid, Warhead is pushing bot. Still 10 seconds to flatline is back, so definitely have that's good. Oh, engaged by Ubik, uh, a lot of damage being applied. No heal actually going down. So those two players can actually uh, take down Blitz. Was not careful there, and they won in a two versus three situation. An ally tower is under attack. 
Bot lane still heavily pushed by. No skill. No skill managed to get this tower down. Regal gets ultimate by flatline. Can't, however. Oh, they're very close there. Very close there. Uh, still not enough damage. I think maybe it was even a little bit of a waste of ultimate. It was very risky to cast it. He could have used it better to push the tower. So we have top tower being taken down by Steamroller. And bottom tower is taken down by down 5. But amazing game so far. So tight. This game is so close. Both teams aggressive, but not overly aggressive. Both teams defensive, but not overly uh, uh, defensive. Very balanced game there. Very, I enjoy this game very much currently. Let's see where the fatal mistake will be held and which team will go down. Uh, first and makes a good final mistake or is a critical mistake which allows the other team to snowball now little fight around the watchtower silent burp is not willing however to overcommit because of the watchtower he doesn't have enough vision and the watchtower was in control for down five so they had a better um, chance of positioning them correct because they had more vision as you can see both teams are currently lurking around each other. I think that maybe Simura has a little bit of an edge as they took down top two one tower from down five, meaning that Ray could be now no heal out of position. He gets engaged. Very good. Ubik is coming in very strong. Very good snipes. A lot of damage applied down five. Down with two sentinels. Down five. Down with one sentinel. Holy what am I saying here? If they're trying to pressure mid lane as much as possible, but I suggest I think that actually it will be still standing. They have all the possibilities to keep it alive. Where's the go? Immediately for Drake. No, I think the time is not enough. Team Simura still have top uh, top tower, so they have a good spot there to, to contest for the Drake. So they are pulling back. I feel that down 5 is not utilizing enough their advantage which they got they're trying to take now uh, drones down and objectives on the map which of course is not a bad decision but uh, I think with 2 sentinels down they should be more aggressive and try to utilize it uh, more than they do it. Uh, I think if they would have switched directly to top tower I believe they could have taken it down or even uh, make a split push like bind uh, sentinels in mid lane and then switch to top lane the top tower would have most likely gone down so i think they ut didn't utilize the advantage correct enough little fight over watchtower on top top blitz and cobra are defending against artillery drone artillery drone still standing for team team roller mid uh, is getting pressured there again very good engaged there by ubik he's doing an amazing play currently doing a lot of damage but phase three is not is not uh, <laughs> from yesterday and very good though he is doing applying a lot of pressure he's playing with his life but down five two centimeters down uh, steamroller is doing is two centimeters down now of course now but now we have really a full ace one night blue is standing between him and an ace 14 steamrollers even b3 is diving deep he knows he gets him down full ace now what is the response will they go for drake will they try to utilize uh, mid Turret is so low, it can be down very five, but then again, they have all the time in the world to go for Drake right now. Very amazing the team fight there. Uh, I saw that actually with an engage, strong engage, and the uh, damage output, which Ubik did as Cobra. I saw that actually this will maybe go towards down five, but Steamroller completely twisted the fight. Uh, re the regroup, we guess, uh, choose the target very carefully. Now, won the team fight, ace. The enemy team went for Drake, secured Drake, captured Drake, and actually down five. Need to protect against uh, pushing artillery drone on top. I still think the Claros should go mainly immediately first for artillery drone instead of killing everything else. Then again, what do I know? <laughs> I'm just commenting. So Drake is marching through mid. Both teams have now their full lineup ready again. Steamroller is taking actually their tank drone. Very good timing there. They didn't waste it before, so they can utilize it right now. There is no chance mid tower is getting holds or be just push being stopped at tier one tower. It will mm, pretty sure arrive at tier two tower. And let's see how much damage Steamroller can utilize it. They are currently one level ahead. 
So. Drake is moving in right now. Cobra, both Cobras at the same spot. B3 and Ubik now engaging each other. Both heavy damage. Ubik is coming up ahead, but he's getting support. Getting support immediately from his team. 50% down on the T2 tower. Ward Ulti is doing even more damage. Nitro is going in right to distract them. T2 tower is going down. Oh, amazing team fight here. Both teams still standing down. Drop. The burst on Flatter was just too much, but is this going? Yeah, Immo Forza Forza into the advantage for Steamroller. I believe that Steamroller can actually win this team fight. They nearly killed the whole enemy team. They're making this push on the HQ. The Drake has still 30-25% on health this is a very strong push i'm not sure if actually blitz will be able to secure this the hq is down to 50 percent this is like there's nothing they can do the lane minions are arriving they just need to clear out the enemy mainly is and they will push into the hq five percent three percent two percent one percent oh! Steam Roller. one the first game out of two is uh, secured uh, by team steamroller uh, of course, uh, who said it? Actually, Alevenem said it in the chat, and he is completely right. Steamroller is playing with this constellation, with this lineup, for quite a long time. They are very experienced with this team constellation, and also down five is. We saw the individual skill, we saw the team skill is very high and very, very, very strong. But Team Steamroller had the edge at a certain moments, and um, that was good.